My name is Christina Fidari. I'm a climate change expert in the Solomon Islands, and this is my story. Um, so we have our home in the province. My mom and dad uh, worked really hard, especially my dad. Over the years, I saw my dad work long hours, and he saved and began to build his home. Um, but then I slowly see that something is wrong with our home, and that something is the tides coming in. I'm starting to worry, and there comes a time when I heard about climate change. I think uh, in many ways climate change has affected the communities. Every family has a garden. Every family has a place to go fishing, to uh, use it to make their food. And all this depends on the quality of the soil that you have and the quality of the sea. So it motivates me to kind of learn a bit more. I studied at the Australian National University uh, in Canberra at the Crawford School of Public Policy and I studied for a Master's in Climate Change. I can't ask for more from the Crawford School of Public Policy. I think it's top-notch education. The facilities are, are world-class facilities. It was an opportunity of a lifetime to, you know, be lectured by some of the great minds in the area of climate change. I, I, I like the Australian culture. I think one thing I really like is the way Australians always have names for a name. Barbecue is a Barbie and the afternoon is Avo. I even have a short Australian name for myself, <laughs> Kay. Uh, I think that women should look at Australia as one of the places that they could really um, develop and grow. I went to Australia, this shy woman who doesn't have an idea about um, where I'm going to go in the next five years. And I think that was an opportunity that started changing the way I look at myself and the way I look at how I could get to where I wanted to. So yeah, it was a big breakthrough, I would say, in terms of personal development. So I'm working with the a Climate Change and Agriculture Project, it's referred to as the SWOC project. And my role in the project is a project manager. So I look after a total of 15 staff who work in the project. It's a very important project for us because one of the things that we wanted to do, and it's very rarely done, is to help the communities, those people who uh, on the front line of the impact of climate change, get to understand the issue and get to know how they could make the decisions, the right decision, or at least the best decisions. My father and mother are now retired and they stayed at my uh, family home, and the threats are there. I see the tide keeps coming up, and I have to accept that. And I have to be very positive of thinking outside the box thinking of other solutions. But my father's house, I don't think I will save it. Whilst we are daunted with all the issues about climate change, I think for me, for the community, I think we should focus on energy, on finding local solutions around that, because I still believe that whatever, whatever the issue is, people and human beings are very capable of finding solutions. Mm -hmm.